When it comes to the Tomy Sonic the Hedgehog line, most of it ends up feeling pretty incomplete. Okay, we're not doing that. When it comes to Sonic merch, not all of it is created equal. While some pieces end up being amazing and well worth the money, and others end up being absolute trash, at least they actually exist. While we all wish it wouldn't, you were able to walk into a store at some point and purchase Tomy Modern Tales. With every line, there will always be pieces that never see the light of day and are thrown to the side and never released. But thankfully, miracles can sometimes happen, and prototypes and unreleased products can fall into the hands of collectors, which means that they can be preserved for many years to come. And thankfully, it happened to me. So there it was. It was 11.32 a.m. on August 31st, 2021. I go to ebay.com. I search Sonic figure and set it to the newest listed, and there I see him. The cancelled 2018 sports jersey knuckles figure. Knowing everything about this figure and my nostalgia to the Tommy Sonic line, within two minutes I was already on the order details page. A week later, he arrives. What an absolute honor it is to own this guy. I started collecting in early 2018, just in time for Tommy's put out that year, and I waited for the figures of Shadow, Super Sonic, Amy, Eggman, etc. But unfortunately, as you all know, the majority of Tomy's products in 2018 never saw a light of day due to them losing the license. But on top of the devastating blows from the Collector series, there were also a bunch of products from the Sonic Boom line that met the same fate. Figures of the main four wearing sports clothing, Sonic Tails and Sticks wearing bowling outfits, Sonic with the ultrasonic speed amplifier, as well as Lord Eggman were all planned but were also all cancelled. While these were just variants, it was sad to see them go unreleased. But that takes us to today, where I now own one of these, Knuckles with a sports jersey. Looking at the actual figure, well, let's talk about it. I mean, I'm no reviewer, I usually leave those up to other people, but I'll try my best. Firstly, this guy, from what I can tell, has no unique sculpting compared to the regular Boom Knuckles figure. This is nothing but a simple repaint, but it does do a pretty good job at that. His shoes are completely white now, except for these lines, as well as some bands on his legs. Then moving on to his shirt, it covers his whole chest now, as well as his shoulders. It's kind of weird how he still has the sports tape and the shirt underneath, but I guess it's fine. But something cool is they actually did change the colors of the plastic on his shoulder joints to blue, as opposed to the red that the regular one has, so that's nice, I guess. But speaking of paint, for some reason, they didn't paint his watch. On the normal Boom Knuckles, it's painted red, but here it's just gray. Maybe this would have been changed to the final release, who knows. Another odd thing is the finish. On the original, it's all shiny and nice, but here it's just kind of flat. Though this was something that Tommy did for a lot of their other Boom figures, so it's not just him. But one thing I really like about him is this emblem on his shirt. It's really well done for how small it is. So yeah, all in all, I'd say this guy's pretty good. For a simple variant, I'd say he's pretty good quality. Not sure too many people would have bought him though. So now you may be wondering, why didn't this guy ever come out? Well, the answer is Sega hates fun. I made a really cringy video about it back in the day, but basically Sega forced Tommy to make Boom stuff, resulting in the line failing. But eventually they pulled the plug just as it was getting good. But of course, most of that included this boom stuff. But another question I'm sure you're asking is, how the f*** did you get an unreleased Knuckles figure? Well, as I said, eBay. But more specifically, this seller. Now, this is no ordinary seller. This man is a god, considering that this isn't the only one he listed. In fact, he's listed both Sonic with the amplifier as well as Lord Eggman himself. We get to see Sonic here with a Prince and on harness, and Lord Eggman, who apparently had a huge scar on his face the whole time. Seeing these two here is so crazy. Like, a month ago, we all thought these things were gone forever. But thankfully, both these were sold. And we even know where they went to. Well, kinda. While we have no clue who bought Hedgehog Harness Boy, we do know who bought Lord Eggman. It turned out to be someone on the Jack Sonic if you were a Discord server, believe it or not. The mashed potato dude, if you're watching this, keep him safe. But here's the thing, there's not just one Eggman. Nabrock Rock, you know, the Sonic render god, actually got one too. I have no idea how the hell that happened since the seller only had one and it sold to Potato Man. I tried asking him about it, but he really didn't tell me, so I guess that's a bust. And during editing, they listed another Lord Eggman for $200 when it sold, so there's that. But you may be thinking, why don't you just ask the seller about all this? Well, I did. However, there was a catch. They told me they're a private collector and wanted most of the info they told me to stay confidential. So I can't really say things like if they had more prototypes, how they got them, etc. But I am allowed to say that these were acquired from a factory worker at Tomy. And they do know that there were at least a few prototypes made of both the Collector Series Amy and Eggman packs, just like all their other cancelled stuff. But yeah, other than that, I can't really speak further. And I know this goes without saying, but do not go and message this guy asking to buy stuff. As I said, he's a private collector and I doubt he wants people spamming him like, Uh, I'll give you $20 for Tommy Silver here. Now these are great and all, but the real question is how many more of these were even made? Well, that's where these come in. Of course, when a product comes out, there needs to be an official image of it, so Tommy made some for these boys. And if we look at the one for Knuckles, it's clear this isn't the one I have, mainly because the shoulder joints here are red as opposed to the final blue, and it's also not this either. Yeah, they put up another one. I guess they just had two Knuckles laying around, that's cool, but I guess that confirms that at least three of them exist, and of course two Lord Eggman, meaning that there's maybe another Harness Sonic out there, who knows. So anyway, yeah, this guy came from a Tommy factory cool. That actually does explain his condition, though. He's really dirty and rough, but I mean, I'd gladly take that over him being torn to shreds forever. But the thing is, I'm not sure this thing was in a factory its whole life. I may be wrong, but I have reason to believe that this was the one that was put on display at Toy Fair. Now, there's no proof of this, but look at this video of Tommy's 2018 Sonic display at the show. Here's the knuckles. Now, look at his nose paint, or lack thereof. The one here has a bit of a lack in nose paint for some reason. Now, look at mine. Barely any nose paint. I mean, I can't imagine they made too many of these, so their chances don't seem to be that low. And maybe those other figures 
Rangers are from Toy Fair too. Well, actually, now that I'm looking at it, the Lord Eggman at Toy Fair was actually metallic, so I guess there's three of them. What the fuck? And they listed the third Knuckles. But this one's odd since there's nothing printed on the bottoms of its shoes. The one I have has the basic legal info, so maybe this was the one from Toy Fair. Who knows? So yeah, that's basically it. That's a story of how I and other people obtained figures that God didn't even want us to have. Just seeing this guy with my own two eyes is such an amazing feeling. Never once did I ever think I'd be able to find something like this. I remember back in early 2018 getting into collecting and jumping right into the Tomy Sonic line. So having something from such a sentimental line to me is incredible. And this thing kind of represents a lot for me. I went from making cringely, poorly researched crap to videos I'm actually proud of now. And I couldn't have done that without you guys, so thanks. I know it sounds kind of pat macky, but it's true. I don't think I've ever mentioned this in a video, but my most wanted item of all time is the cancelled Tomy Silver figure. But all getting this Knuckles figure is done for me to show me that he's out there somewhere. Now I just need to find him. And for all of you trying to find your holy grails, all I can say is don't give up. While it may seem impossible sometimes, just know that someday your dreams might come true.